company matters the decriminalization of the procedural and technical compoundable offenses under companies act 2013 is now complete i now propose to take up decriminalization of the limited liability partnerships act 2008 Honorable Speaker, I propose to revise the definition under under the Companies Act 2013 for small companies by increasing the threshold for paid-up capital from not exceeding 50 lakh to not exceeding 2 crores and turnover from. not exceeding 2 crores to not exceeding 20 crores this will benefit more than 2 lakh companies in easing their compliance requirements as a further measure which directly benefits startups and innovators i propose to incentivize the incorporation of one person companies by allowing one person companies to grow without any restriction on paid up capital and turnover allowing their conversion into any other type of company at any time reducing the residency limit for an indian citizen to set up an one person company from 182 days to 120 days and allow also non resident indians to incorporate opcs in india this will be a big boost for startups to ensure faster resolution of cases the nclt framework will be strengthened e court system will shall be implemented and alternate methods of debt resolution and special framework for msmes shall be introduced during the coming fiscal we will be launching data analytics artificial intelligence machine learning driven mca 22 2.1 version to mca 21 version 3.0 mca 21 version 3.0 this version 3.0 will have additional modu- modules for e scrutiny e adjudication e consultation and compliance management disinvestment and strategic sale in spite of covid-19 we have kept working towards strategic disinvestment a number of transactions namely bpcl air india shipping corporation of india container corporation of india idbi bank bharat uh, earth movers limited Pavan Hans Nilachal Ispat Nigam Limited among others would be completed in 2122 other than IDBI bank we propose to take up the two public sector banks and one general insurance company in the year 2122 this would require legislative amendments and i propose to introduce the amendments in this session itself in 2122 we would also bring the ipo of lic for which i am bringing the requisite amendments in this session itself in the atmanirbhar package i had announced that we will come out with a policy of strategic disinvestment of public sector enterprises i am happy to inform the house that the government has provided provided sorry the government has approved the said policy the policy provides a clear road map for disinvestment in all non strategic and strategic sectors we have kept four areas that are strategic where bare minimum cpscs will be maintained and rest privatized in the remaining sectors of all cpscs will be privatized the main highlights of the policy are mentioned in annex 3 to fast forward the disinvestment policy i'm asking neeti to work out uh, on the next list of center public sector companies that would be taken up for strategic disinvestment 
to similarly incentivize states to take to disinvestment of their public sector companies, we will work out an incentive package of central funds to states. Idle assets will not contribute to Atmanirbhar Bharat. The non-core assets largely consist of surplus land with government ministries and departments and public sector enterprises. Monetizing of land can either be by way of direct sale or concession or by similar means. This requires special abilities and for this purpose, I propose to use a special purpose vehicle in the form of a company that would carry out this activity. In, in order to ensure timely completion of closure of sick or loss-making CPSCs, we will introduce a revised mechanism that will ensure timely closure of such units. I have estimated 1,75,000 crores as receipts from disinvestment in BE 21-22.